Hello, hey, and welcome to, what episode is this? 40 something. 40 something, <laughs> something in them of Rushed Vibes. I am Jessica, pregnant, Rushed Vibes, rushing, accompanied by David, not pregnant, Rushed Vibes, rushing, and we are here to rush the vibe with our tribe. As you can see, we are back at the... At the regular studio, at the the launch pad. I need a term for this. Uh, console. No, but in reference to the podcast, like this is what not ground zero. What's it? What's the word? The statement for like not headquarters, but like where it all happens. I feel like use it in military stuff. Home base. Maybe it's home base. We're back at home base. We're but we're home. always we're always at home base no, no matter where we are because No, this is home base. This is this is home. What did Hitch say? This is this is safe right here. Um we had we've been having some guests, so we had relocated to a remote location, which is just right down there. This was just on the other side of the couch. Um but this is home base. So it's just us. We get our opinionated truths. I will emphasize that we are both very tired. Um, I have this pregnancy fall allergy thing going on that I can't shake. I feel like someone has inflated me. Like someone has just taken a straw and just gone. (laughs) And has inflated vibes. Inflated vibes. Yes. Um, But yeah, so we're here. Just the two of us. Building castles in the sky. Just the two of us. Um, we got new iPhones. We did. So I got the Sierra Blue, which kind of matches the, the wall or pink it does. behind us. Oh, mine's in a case. I got the gold um, in my loopy case. Loopy. So appropriate. That's how I feel. I feel loopy. I feel like I'm on something. I feel like people who buy loopy cases are are loopy. Anyway, it's I'm more of a, I'm more of a pop pop socket person. You don't, but you don't use pop. Socket. No, I don't. But I'm saying if if you had to if choose. I were to use one, it, or use a uh, an accessory that made it, I guess, easier to grab the back of my phone, I would you I would go the pop socket rock because it doubles as like a stand. stand. That's true. Yeah, I liked my pop socket, but I just get more security. Like the way I have my keys and everything, I usually just yeah, not a not a problem for me. I just hold my phone like a normal person. And women's ha- women's pants just don't have pockets, and ours is designed to kind of stand. It has like a mild angle. It's like twenty two point. No, if you maybe if you're like a giraffe or a it's, uh, it, it's that's how they describe gazelle. it. See, it's higher now. Yeah. That's a, that's because it's new now in like four weeks. It's when my kinda, kids have chewed up yeah, on it. It's um, not going to stand up. But yeah, I went from the iPhone XR. I've had that thing for like either three years. Um, so it's going to be me and this baby for another yeah, three we went, years. We went a little longer than, than normal uh, this last this last cycle. Normally we upgrade every year, but we, we skipped a couple of years. Mm-hmm. So we skipped, I skipped the 12 completely. Went from 11 to 13 just like she said, XR, 10X, I think, 10R, I think. is I don't know what the I got proper, it in 2019. proper term is. Before Savi was was to be here. Yeah, so nice to upgrade. Nice screen. Nice, uh, this reminds me of like the iPhone 4, yeah. iPhone 4S. It feels good. Um, good weight. Solid weight. Weight, so, weight is important. Weight is. With, with devices. You can tell how... Um, expensive something is the quality of it based on the weight of it so True. At, when, when it comes to phones at least I, say, I weigh a lot and I'm I'm great quality well you're a fantastic quality. Uh, <laughs> top, uh, top notch quality I thought I, when the pandemic started Apple was supposed to release some kind of feature so that they could identi- you could identify your face while wearing a mask and no one has talked about that they stopped talking about that and murder hornets and I'm really bothered because that was definitely supposed to be like an incentive to wear your mask that you can unlock your phone with just the biometrics of your eyes. 
and that like I just stopped I I didn't hear about it and they were breaking breaking, breaking news to me I I don't know but I'm not I'm not really I'm not really in that, <clears throat> excuse me I'm not really in that space anymore where I follow the the day to day uh, tech news I have moved on oh run this now so previous life of mine now I kind of just catch the uh, the big headlines oh, the big me. the big the big news but other than that I'm not really in the I'm not really in the weeds with um with tech news my bad I guess that's basic news well not basic but it's just it, it didn't cross my my radar so I can't I can't speak to it I can't well, answer this was almost two years ago okay um but anyway the pandemic two years old Savi's almost two years old uh-huh. pandemic is 20 months I guess, but it wasn't classified a pandemic until after her birthday. It was like March. I feel like it got classified in like no. February. Wrong. <laughs> oh, I hadn't done a Trump one in a minute. Oh, God. Oh, it feels good. So today is um. Tired day. National. Tired day. Tired day. Uh, but we're recording this on Monday, October 4th. Also known as uh, to the people who unfortunately celebrated National Taco Day. So, Viva los tacos. Um, for those of you who aren't new around here, you should probably guess what I'm getting ready to say. But for those of you who are new, I'm uh, not really a fan of tacos. I think they're overrated, I think they're trash. And because this is America, I have no problem with you believing that they're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Just don't, just don't tread on my freedoms <laughs> to express my feelings on tacos. Is all I'm saying. Tacos are. So I'm saying Americans. You know, okay. if I can, if I can get in my, no. if I if I get up and stand on top of my my box right quick, my soapbox. Americans love to bully people. Yeah, and if you if you have our country's foundation, if you have a, a, an opinion that runs uh, counter uh, to mass public opinion, people love to to jump on you. Yeah, like that's cancel how, culture. That's how the country is designed. Yeah, luckily, I mean, I think people, most people know I'm just trolling, like on on Facebook. So I, I mean, think my, some people take you serious. My profile is open, so any and everyone who um, comes across a post mine is is free to jump in so like last year i was looking through my my, my oh. memories and last year it went like and it goes viral not viral viral but it went it it went past my uh and meet my, my friends on facebook so there were a couple of people who got in there and somebody put a <laughs> somebody put like a fu in there like the actual word which is hilarious to me and over um tacos. over tacos and uh there was this one dude he he must have been um I must have truly insulted him because he was like, it's one thing to have an opinion on someone's uh, main food from someone's culture, but to say it's trash, it's disrespectful. <laughs> I was, so I did the little gif, you know, with the black dude, he was just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I put that one. There were people who got really upset last year. This year, everybody kind of knows uh, what the deal is. So it was just more playful uh, back and forth. But it's my one, one of the few opportunities I get every year to, to put a troll post out there and people take the bait they do take the bait every single year my own wife takes the bait although she kind of she kind of just plays along kind of stirs the pot a little yeah, bit yeah because if i make tacos for dinner you know what he's gonna eat tacos i'm gonna eat what's Ta- in between the, <laughs> no, torti- and the tortilla he's gonna eat tacos <laughs> in, between, in between the tortilla uh of course my 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 lovely sister in love is uh half mexican so she and i go back and forth every year um, but yeah, good times. Tacos are trash, and I'm utilizing National Taco Day to remind you all of that. Remember, don't tread on me. This is a free country. <laughs> I need to get my flag like oh, with the God. little with the little snake. And then have the snake eating. Put a taco? my put my head on top of the snake. Don't tread on me. So they'll get you for that. They'll get you for that. Uh, what else happened? Um, oh, I. I, David, redacted rushing because I'm not giving y'all my full government. Y'all ain't getting it. I feel like I've already given it to him, before, given it to them before. Oh, you yeah? have? I mean, you told them where your your family lives. 
What are you talking about? Like two episodes. You were like, we got family land. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't live there, so <laughs> they're gonna roll up on me. Um, I I made it to the mountaintop this week, this past week. I s- successfully secured a PlayStation Five. I did it. It's for all the little people out there um, who've lost hope, who feel like you know. We are they're not constantly, turn they're a, constantly, make a they're constantly, speech. they're constantly being, being stepped on by the man. That the that the middle class is shrinking in this company or in this country. I am a member of the middle class, and I prevailed. Are we still middle class, girl? What's I wrong with you? Yes, I didn't think for I the didn't. sake of this podcast oh. and all for anybody is concerned, <laughs> we are middle class. My bad. Never mind. About to get us robbed. <laughs> Talk about me. <laughs> My bad. But how are we? How are we middle class if our bank account has <laughs> zeros in it? <laughs> Jessica trying to get us robbed. I'm sorry. I just did some quick math and I just figured. Yeah. We're so I got a, a PS5. Um, I'm not gonna tell you how I got it because um, I'm just not. But I was able to legally and successfully. Acquire a PlayStation Five. Congratulations! Uh, after about a year, year and change of of attempts, it's. I didn't even know he still wanted one. You know, it takes a lot of stick-to-itiveness to uh to get a a next generation console these days because the 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 retailers are not carrying them in stores now, or if they do, it's like very rare, or they're getting, or they might do it this year for Christmas, I think. But you know, supply chain chip shortages, COVID, so it's just online drops only, and then you know people using bots, and and you got to be. You got to be ready. Yeah. Like when people announce the drop, you can't be holding babies or using the bathroom. Like I was upstairs the same day I got one. The, that morning, I put my phone down to come downstairs. I think I was talking to you for a little bit. I went back upstairs and like you missed the drop. I missed the drop. Three minutes. And it's almost sold out. It's gone. Count. Now you understand the value of three minutes. So, um, <laughs> Just, I'm just saying. I, uh, I just I've acquired I've acquired a PS5, and uh, now my life is it is still incomplete. <laughs> I hope you didn't think I was going to say it was complete at, at the, my tender age of of 33. But I was telling Jess, it's almost like the pursuit of the PS5 was greater than the achievement of actually getting one. Like I have one now, and I'm just like, oh. it's kind of like when you pursue a woman, and then once you get her, you no. just you just stop trying. No, that's not true. <laughs> I will never stop chasing you. Chasing and trying are two different things. I will, well, no, because if you're chasing someone, that means you're trying to get them. Or you're That's, just chasing. No. Nah. Anyway, congratulations on your PS whatever number. Five. 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 Single. Fifth. One, two, three, four, fifth. Yeah, so that that was the last week. Um... Has anything happened this week? Oh, it's just Monday. It is <laughs> so just I Monday. guess not. I guess not a lot. We went to they. They oh, brought yeah. back Taste of Charlotte. We went back to Taste of Charlotte for anybody who's local. Um, uh, Jess, what give a little synopsis of the of the event? It was a chaotic mess, in my opinion. Um, mind you, I'm usually on the other side. Of, no, what is what is? Oh, Taste, Taste of, Charlotte. of Charlotte. Most major cities have it, but it's essentially a festival. It's typically a street festival. Um, they shut down several blocks. Different restaurants come. They they have their tents, their booths, however you want to call it. Uh, you buy coins. You get to sample their food. Uh, so it's actually, you know, it's a good it's a good event. It gives you an opportunity to try restaurants that you, you know, might not have the the bank account to go to. But you're like, hey, I tried it. It's worth it. Or someplace new. And you're like, I don't know if I want to go. If it's gonna be good. But now I can try it at Taste of Charlotte. Um, there are usually different vendors selling stuff, giving samples away, all of this stuff. So it's it's a fun time. I'm usually running a campaign that requires us to be at Taste of Charlotte. So I'm typically, I think I've only ever been a pedestrian. Have I ever been consumer? a consumer? I say pedestrian. Yeah, it's, it's not really. Uh, I think I've only ever been a pedestrian. This might have been my first time being a pedestrian. I think I'm usually working or overseeing a team that's working the event. So it was when you're always on the other side of the festival. It's very different being a consumer, being an attendee. 
uh, so it was different for me. It was, it, and it was different overall. They canceled it last year due to COVID, and then they, this year they did it in the truest ballpark, which is um, where the Charlotte Knights play. The Charlotte Knights are not MLB, but like minor league. Minor league. That's the word I've been looking for. Our minor league baseball team, and they had it in the concourse. It was tight. It was it was just not built for the the way the direction for which they f- they directed traffic and I personally thought you know it would have made more sense if like whatever entrance you came into they forced you one direction and hey if you didn't stop in line to catch a sample like you just you got to get it on the loop again just because between the space that the vendors were taking then you had people going back and forth. And then you had those of us who have kids who bring strollers, who bring strollers and end up holding said kids. So the stroller is typically empty anyway. Neither here nor there. But we occupy a lot of space. We are now part of that demographic of people who are annoying because we have children and strollers. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't change that. And now we're going to be adding a double stroller. So, you know, beep, beep, get the bleep out of our way. Um, So, yeah, I think... This was definitely, I don't know what next year is going to bring. The city of Charlotte was not allowing organizations to get permits to shut down streets. I don't know why someone thought, oh, it's safer to have an event in a stadium, the concourse of a stadium, rather than just letting people shut down streets for three days like we've done yeah, for years. If, if nothing else, I feel like they should have just had let everybody set up shop like in the field. That probably would have been a better idea. Instead of using it for the uh, the pumpkin patch. Or even if they did the... Convention. Which was also going on. There was yeah. Taste of Charlotte in the concourse, and then there was a pumpkin, pumpkin patch, patch out on the field. There were the kids' events at the top of this hill. Which I don't think a lot of people thought through because there's some miserable dads lugging I know. <laughs> there was one. And I've never, on I didn't even shoulder. know that's how you carried a pumpkin, but they were carrying um, it. There was one, one family I saw. They had a stroller. They had a double stroller and an infant and like maybe a toddler, Basavi's age, and the mom was holding the infant and the dad had like two pumpkins in the infant's car seat because they had two hard, pumpkins. Our times. So yeah, it it just was one of those you gotta get through it to realize that oh, we could have done it better. So, you know, they could have done it on the field and just got like some really big tents so that, you know, you have shade because it was sunny. I, I North Carolina is so filled with such trickery when it comes to the weather. It's October, you have cold, brisk mornings, but by 10.42 a.m., it's like 70 degrees. So we got there at high noon-ish, and it was hot. The sun was hitting all of us. Like, at one point, I think everybody wore David's hat to get shade. Um but other than that, I don't want to bash the event. It was, you know, a trial and error, and they made, you know, lemon aid out of lemons. Um, so hopefully the city will allow, you know, hopefully COVID is clear next year. I really hope this doesn't age well, and it's like next year, and COVID is not clear, and they have to do it like that again. But um, hopefully COVID is clear, and they can shut down streets again, and we can have street festivals like we usually do. Yeah, so... um I see you got your little, got your little notepad over there. I do. I what have. are we? Uh, what, what do you have on, on deck? So I had I was scrolling through the social mediums. We don't have to do the whole. We don't have to jump in. I just want to know like the topics that you um, that you wrote down. I mean, I have to give a bit. Okay. <laughs> so, um, like they're not just like oh. What we'll do is uh, we'll take a break. Let's take a break. And we'll come back and we'll let Jessica do her bit or whatever. So stay tuned. BRB. We'll be back. Okay, we're back. So as I was saying, I was scrolling through the social mediums. And these are, I would say, I think I saw these either last week or the week before. Um, and they just kind of struck my eye in terms of, oh, this could be an interesting conversation. So the first topic that I had was, and I don't know if this picture is the actual woman, um, who's participating in this or if it's just you know sometimes they take a picture and add a caption to it it's some random chick so the quote under it says my boyfriend pays our rent and bills he has no idea i'm the landlord so 
my first point is I really hope it's not her because now he knows. Um, but my second was there were a lot of, I think I saw, I think it, it just got posted on several different accounts. Um, and it just got me thinking because, you know, the comments, it's always live in the comments, were interesting. Some people were like, yes, sis, like you better do, you better do the, the damn thing and congratulations. And other people were like, oh, that's shady, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it just got me thinking, is she wrong? The quote said, it's, my, my boyfriend pays the rent. Our rent and bills. And bills. He has no idea I'm the landlord. No idea I'm the landlord. So she owns the property. Okay. That they reside in. Okay. Um, and she said my boyfriend. My boyfriend. So they're okay. in a relationship. They're not married. They're right? not married. Okay. That's her boyfriend. He pays the rent and he pays the bills. Technically, the bills aren't hers. Like, they share the bills. So, I'm going to answer this twice. Okay. So, number one, what anybody wants to do in their relationship is their business, <laughs> okay? But for the sake of a podcast, uh, for the sake of this podcast, I'm going to give my opinion. Um... So I feel like it's 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 a double edged sword because um obviously if he's paying it that paying for the bills and stuff, that's something that either he wants to do or that you two have arranged. Mm -hmm. Um so obviously he's capable of doing it, but at the same time, uh if you're a landlord, you own the building or the unit or the unit in the building, um I feel like that's something that you should disclose. Yeah. I I feel like I uh, concealing that is uh, not the the best way to kind of either start off or, um, per, per, you know, kind of proceed in a relationship. Because mm -hmm. if, you know, you're willing to keep that from someone, what else are you willing to not tell them about? So I don't see the point. It, if, I mean, if you're scared that he would, he would leave uh, because you own the, the building, that that would do something to his will or want to provide or take care of you or support you i don't know what does that say about how you feel about him valid points of course they are um, i'm i too am torn uh one part of me was like yes it's congratulations like you own real estate like that's an achievement again i don't know yeah, if i'll be yes yeah, this in front you just for anything I don't know such if a low the, bar for the, for I the don't ass. know if the woman in the picture is the actual woman who is what does it matter because now she's outed herself yeah, <laughs> that's why it matters um, well people do out themselves on social media this all the is time, true so yeah it's possible that that's her so she's young um she looks maybe late 20s early 30s but you know what I want to take a really uh -oh. I want to pause really quickly um what for one and then what one reason why is because I want to bring out something old that relates to this. But also, I forgot. We need to give uh, good energy and say good luck to our girl B. I'm not going to say her full name, but B from the Snapchat group because she has an interview. Oh. Tomorrow, which would be Tuesday, but this is going to air on Wednesday. So yesterday. So B, yesterday. <laughs> when you see this, it'll be yesterday, but it's tomorrow. So this is like a Matrix or Inception type thing. Ooh. But B. We, got, we love you. Good luck. We support you. Good luck. All positive, rushed vibes coming your way. Positive we know you're going to kill it and then kill the next interview. Yes. And kill the next interview and then kill it in the position once you get it. Okay. I was like, so, how many interviews are this? I don't know. Maybe two. Maybe three. I don't know. Okay. Congrats. Uh, so, shout out to you. Um, but also, do you remember when we talked about the guy who made the Reddit post about going half <laughs> with his girlfriend? But he was rich. No, 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 no. Remember when you were like, he's an ass. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a guy. Is that how I said there it? Was a, there, was a, there was a person on Reddit who makes like six figures and their girlfriend, significant other, made like 40. 40 because she, she's a, a teacher. So, you know, obviously they're, they live, uh, he and his family live a different lifestyle. So they agreed to go half on a vacation 
Um, and when they got there, I guess she misbudgeted or whatever. She realized she couldn't do a lot of the excursions and, and, and pay for the dinners. But he was like, yo, we agreed that we were going to go half. So yo, he, 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 he was like, he was like, growling. should I, <laughs> she should I feel meals. bad about not paying for her, uh, paying for her food. He's like, I don't think this, this is going to work. <laughs> and Jessica was like, he should have paid for it. Like, he should have. So I it's, do, so it's, I, I think no, this no, no, is slightly it is, different. It is interesting. You people, you people being you women, when the shoe was on the other foot, how, but you know, I think this it's is always slight, interesting how that happens, I right? I think this is slightly different. This is probably one of those situations where she had probably similar to us. She had her own place. Don't be comparing them. Don't be bringing us into this. She happened to... Well, I almost bought a place. Don't be telling people our business, man. What's wrong with you? And you were going to just move into that place (laughs) and not pay no rent. I was about to mooch like hell. I was over there coordinating uh, car chargers. I was about to be the bummiest of bums. So, anyway. And then she she dumped me after I leased a car that I was planning to... (laughs) That I bought because of where I thought I was going to be living. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. It's tragic. So I felt like the situation was she's probably I feel like, owned. I feel like she, part of her wanted to break up just so I had to eat that regret. And she was like, yeah, I'm going to make him regret this whole car purchase lease. No, Excuse me, this lease. I'm not that petty. I wasn't even. Th- you better f- put your eyes back you in their petty? socket. You know, that no, petty? I'm not that petty. I'm petty ish at times at strategic Shh. times. So here's how I think, how I picture I saw, your, I saw your picture in the dictionary next to Petty. What you talking about, girl? It was probably three pictures after yours. Sure, but yours is in there. Anyway, can I talk? I feel like this is how it played out. She probably lived in this place that she's owned. I don't know if it's a building. I don't know if it's a condo, a townhouse, a single family. Whatever. It's her property. She's lived in it. She started dating this guy. You know, he started staying over, staying over. And before you knew it, he moved in. Like, that's just how it usually progresses. And maybe, I mean, I feel like at some point she should have mentioned like, oh, I own this place. Um, But he, maybe he was just kind of like, hey, I'm living with my girl now. I am in a good situation. I'm comfortable financially. I'm going to pay the bills. Uh, I think because she owns it and she's not renting it to him, she does owe him the fact of like, hey. I own this. We can split the mortgage um, or you can pay me rent. Like I can charge, like core actually have a conversation and say like, this is how much I'm charging you rent. Cause obviously he can afford it. Uh, it. And I, she didn't say it like he's struggling so she can afford, he can afford it. She better be able to afford it. Cause it's in her name. She owns it. Uh, and then they also, I feel like the bills at least should be split because she also uses electricity, water and all of that stuff. So, Maybe. However, I think however they want to split the the expenses up is is their business. But I just feel like that's something that you should let someone know. Yeah, like, I mean, hey, I don't I'm, know why you wouldn't tell someone like, oh, this apartment, this I mean, this condo we live in, this townhouse, I own it. That's something to be proud of. Uh, or maybe she yeah. thinks he's a mooch, and but you know, she, he might part be. of it. You know, I, I'm 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 I'm, I, I'm I'm suspicious. I feel like this is just one of those those, posts people put out just to get up. just to get engagement because you know relationship type posts money posts uh posts that we'll pit that pit men against women um to get people riled up in the comments those are the things that go viral those are the things that we see on our facebook on our instagram except for today because everything was down but oh yeah. yeah but um i feel like this is one of those posts okay well then to my next post well i'm just saying which like, i also saw on social media this one actually intrigued me the most. Um, You're not prepared. Huh? You're not prepared. I am prepared. I have and why to, are you scrolling? I'm not scrolling. You're, I you're fidgeting. It's right there. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> okay. So this one. Uh, my fiance wants to have a wedding and I don't. I want a small ceremony. She wants to use the $16,000 that I have saved up for a home. I, th- I feel like I've seen like two different versions of this post. Could we keep going? <laughs> for a home and for emergency funds. I already spent 3000 on a ring she wanted, and that was from my savings, as it $3, should be. Um, it's supposed to be three paychecks. We Says, says who? Says exactly. old-time religion. <laughs> so you didn't spend three paychecks on my ring. 
That is, you keep, <laughs> keep, put, keep putting our business out That's there. That's what you're saying. Keep putting our business out there. That's what you're saying. No, it's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying. Since we're extra. I'm in a different place now than I was then. I was all trying to, <laughs> I was trying, I was trying to do you right. I now, it. now I'm just like, eh, I guess I get and this for. And now I'm her. allergic to, <laughs> I'm <laughs> allergic to said ring, so nah. I'm wearing silicone. Yeah, rings. now I'm like, man, I guess I get this for. Her. Anywho, like, I guess she worth it. Anywho, um, he said we can't seem to come to a compromise. I'm willing to spend five thousand on the wedding, and she says that's not enough. What can I do? Leave her. Uh, <laughs> like I feel like that's simple. Leave her, because I mean. I guess we've kind of veered away from the traditional bride's family pays for the wedding uh, if because that's how it used to be. And if that's not the case and she don't have her own money to pay for the wedding, like why should you spend your six? How's she going to budget her wedding? Because the wedding is really about why her. Why should someone else pay for an apartment that somebody else owns? Because he lives and they're the, there. And they're the and they're the because he lives there. The landlord. He can pay because he's living there. He needs to he pay. Can, he can pay because he got it. You can pay for the wedding because he got it. No. No, okay. if you're if like if you're a woman and you know you yeah, want a big liberals wedding, liberals love spending other people's money. Okay, okay, Josh. I, I just don't. I personally think like no, and this like call it off because you already spent three thousand. So what? I'm wondering if he had nineteen thousand. So maybe that's where you said you saw twenty, and then you deduct the three thousand from the ring that takes it down from yeah to seventeen. Whatever. Uh, I'm not here to do math, but. In this day and age, if your parents aren't doing the traditional route as the bride and paying for the wedding or don't have it to pay for the wedding and you have, you know, particular tastes, you better have the funds to be able to support those tastes. Like you should have your own wedding fund. If you know that no one else is going to pay it, it shouldn't be. Dude shouldn't have to buy the ring. It, 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 I think a lot of it depends on your, your tax bracket. So, like, old boy who pays from Reddit who wants to split everything, he needs to pay for the whole that's damn my, wedding. That's my guy, um, by the way. He better not be your that's guy. My, that's He's my a guy. terrible human that's being. That's my guy. Who listened to the rumbling of who, his girlfriend's who set, stomach. Who set a budget and stuck to it. No, they had Absolutely. Ex, they did extra things. That's why she that's didn't my guy. have money. No, she had no money because she broke. Because <laughs> we don't pay our teachers enough. That's why. This is true. This is very don't true. Don't blame him. This is true. It's not he's his fault. She needs to talk to the governor and her state. He's still an council, ass. Whoever, whoever is in charge of paying teachers, that's who she needs to be upset with. He is still so an she needs to go up there to the next election, the next board ass. meeting, and let her stomach rumble into the mic so that they can hear her. He is still an ass. Nah, that's my anyway, guy. Anyway, I personally think this woman should have her man. own should have her own money mm. to pay for the extravagant wedding she wants because it's not fair that this man has saved sixteen thousand dollars he already has a vision for a house i'm sure these are the reasons why you are wanting to marry him because he's got vision because he is proactive and you can put your finger down i'm still talking and so for you to just jump in here and he says he spent three thousand dollars on your ring and then i aggravate your child Stop it. They start kicking you. <laughs> and then he said, and then you say you want to spend all of his money for your wedding. And he even is willing to give you 5,000. I just want to speak. You can have a whole wedding for 5,000. I, I can't speak. say much. I got married in a living room. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that true. was well under 5,000. Although, although to be fair, it, at the time it, it wasn't going to be our, our wedding. It wasn't. We haven't had our wedding. We technically just had like a marriage ceremony. So sometimes I like, used to call it my marriage ring. Like, like the old times. What? Um, what? Like the old times, people used to just, just have close ones, loved ones around, and then, you know, you have somebody, whatever, and then you got married. Wait, you have somebody what? <laughs> and you got married. What is that? Like an You go L down the middle and then, and then to the left and to the right, okay. and then it's just like. Just say your piece. And then it's I like, don't know what hand Let's motion. get it on. Uh. These things are so it's, so, it's so hard to give a general opinion on this because it's just an opinion. But, you know, I think when you get married, you're going to have a lot of disagreements mm -hmm. and you're going to have a lot of growing pains and you're going to have a lot of adjustments to make. And you're going to have to learn, as we talked about with Leah toward the end of our episode in episode forty. Four? Forty four, I think. Um it is very difficult to grow 
individually and both collectively at the same time, but it's kind of what happens in marriage. At least it should be what's happening. Um, and if you guys can't get the first big decision you guys have to make together, right? It's going to be a long Chrissy, road. Chrissy Teigen face. And she's so, canceled. Um, but no, in all seriousness, like, these are these are discussions, right? These are discussions that you have before you get to this point. Um, not the first date type, but when you kind of realize it's going that way, say, like, hey, what are your expectations for? Uh, and, and for all I know, maybe that's unfair for me to say. Maybe this has been an ongoing discussion. Maybe it's not something that just popped up after the engagement. But, you know, I don't know. I, like I said, we got married in a living room. I don't know that a, a, fan, a big fancy wedding is is necessary. It's, it's why a lot of marriages go into debt and are in start off in debt yeah. because they spend a lot of money on on a wedding and then they got to they got to work to pay it off. And in this economy, mm. you don't take that risk. And then you're not going to be friends with half the people who showed up anyway. Now, now, truth be told, you know, I passed by McDonald's the other day. They were talking about fifteen dollars. I was like, look, part time. Don't don't get And if started. they're doing 15, you know Starbucks at least is 17. <laughs> get me He's pumpkin spice. That said, get me pumpkin spice lattes for it? for free? Sign and I can bonus. go and I can go back to college. You already have a masters. Okay. They don't know that. They will. No they won't. When you fill out that application. Uh, get me a free education a, 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 a third education? Yeah. And I some can't. free lattes? I can't. Look, I'm just saying. Weddings are great. Where, where was I They're, going? Why I don't are we know. talking about McDonald's? Because you were talking um, about weddings and debt and relationships. Yes. So, I mean, that's that's why a lot of, that's where the initial debt of uh, a lot of uh, couples and marriages starts from. And then, you know, you add the house on top of it. You'd be swimming, swimming in bills real quick. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I think that this is, it's just something that you really need to be aligned on. Uh, maybe some compromise. Maybe, okay, we'll do a wedding, but not. A twenty thousand dollar wedding or sixteen thousand dollar wedding. He maybe. offered her five thousand. She said it's not enough. Oh well, maybe come up a little bit. Or maybe he just needs to let it go. Look, sure. I'm just not one to spend other people's money because usually, if your parent, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I, yo, thirty second timeout. Oh my god, timeout. Flag on the play. Fifteen, fifteen yard penalty. We're going back the other way. Who's Let's my- revisit what you ju- what just came out of your mouth. <laughs> I'm you not said one to spend other people's money. Whose money am I spending? Whose money am I spending? You're spending my money. I'm not spending your money. Technically, you're, right. you're, you're spending right. my money. You spend, you spend all my damn money. Who's who, who, who you, whose money who is you, in the bank account now? You're spending mine. No, it's mine. Oh, it's mine. Because I took you off. Because I took you off the account. That lobster <laughs> mac and cheese. Yeah, that, that I paid for that. Um, I'm not one for spending other people's money. Oh man, I forgot where we. Uh, what time was it when we took the break? I don't know, but it was I like assume, twenty. I assume at 15, 15 minutes we'll have to get a pause. Um, I feel like if it's not your daddy who's like, here's your budget for your wedding, which I know a lot of people have done. Their dads are just like, hey, you have thirty G's. Do it how you want to do it. Um, Thanks, dad. Like, thanks to your dad. Um, but at the end of the day, I feel like that's 30 G's you could have put on the down payment of a house. You could have or paid just, for a car. Or put in a mutual fund yeah. or index fund. Because th- or just put in savings and then determine what you're going to do with it later. Because or, weddings are great. Or um, F, or FU, FU account. This is true. Or travel somewhere. Weddings are great, but, you know... A lot of times in my experience, when I've talked to people or, who had weddings, let me finish my bit. You could go down to Magic City. When I've talked to people who have had weddings, most of the guests who they invite, like they're not even friends with anymore. Like they didn't even get good gifts. So it's like, I don't even know what a wet, a wedding return on investment is supposed to be, but like they just don't get it and they find that it's just not worth it wasn't so, worth the stress and all the chaos and you know you pay for someone's plate and then they don't show up um so then you send the invoice <laughs> this is true so unless Yo, this is the same guy let me let me renege on a on a wedding and somebody send me an invoice it's i'm gonna send something i'm gonna send something back it ain't gonna be no money though anyway. i'll tell you that right now the only way I'm cool with the nerve to be sending people invoices. The only way this could work is if in some Better hypothetical universe write that off. 
the woman who is trying to plan this wedding is also the woman who owns the house that her boyfriend is paying the rent on and the bills and has savings. But then she should be able to afford to pay for this wedding. That would be a, an awesome twist of events. But relationships are complicated enough as it is. I don't think that this is necessary. I feel like it's a red flag. Like, yo, she's trying to spend your money on this big wedding that she doesn't need. She ain't bring. What's she bringing to the table? I thought, what's uh, what's yours is mine. What's mine is mine. When you're married, they ain't married. You're basically married. They can't even get no. It's like no. You're she's single <laughs> with a ring. Like mostly married. She's single with a ring. Like, like if he three, dies, four, you like three four. If he married. dies, you know who's getting that sixteen thousand? Not her, because they're not married. What else you got? Everything else is about marriage. Oh my gosh! It was this other one that I saw. All right, let's um, let's take a break. What do you got? What do you? Let's take a break. Uh, you you know I'll bring I'll bring the thunder. So he's got when we there. come back. <laughs> You're right. I'm gonna start nothing. something. When we come back from break, we'll be right back. All right. So what do you got? Nothing. You said you had. You said you were bringing the thunder. Bring it. Yeah, it's raining outside. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Stick your head outside. So it's not it's thundering. Raining. You got nothing. Hmm. You got nothing. No, I got some. So, uh, I had a <clears throat> one of my tweets went semi-viral. Uh, what is the definition of viral? few days? Huh? What is the definition of something going viral? Like when uh, I think it's relative because, like, <laughs> to you. for me, I only average like point two point two five likes on any post that I put up. So anything more than like seven <laughs> is like okay. viral for me. Okay, because I only have like twenty five followers. Because I I mostly consume Twitter. I don't really uh, actively. Yeah, I don't I don't put stuff out to to grow the to grow the account. Although maybe I should. I don't, know. I don't really have a lot of time for it though. Two, it's, two kids, so full time. Work. Two kids, full time job. Wife, third kid coming. Sleep, like it's just a lot of stuff. So, my tweet was actually a response. Okay. To another tweet, um, there was an event that happened last weekend where a known uh, author, um, thought leader on Twitter. Uh. Um, by the name of uh, Frederick Joseph, oh. um, was out in New York, I think Brooklyn. Um, he and his fiance were at a dog park, and apparently, at at some point, there was an altercation, uh, change exchange of words between uh, this young lady uh, and them. At first, I guess there was an accusation like their dog was was being uh, disorderly. <laughs> Although I feel like that's. 90% of dogs. So rambunctious. But, um, and then it turned into something and allegedly she said, go back to your hood. So. So they're black. Yeah. So, uh, what was so funny about this is, um, so he starts recording, I guess, allegedly after she said it and he was like, what did you say? Would you say go back to my hood? And then she like gives a middle finger to the camera and then she tries to slap it at his hand. Um, and then I guess when she realized what's happening, cause she was, she was drunk. Basically, if you watch the video, you could, you could tell that she was drunk. And um, drunk words, sober thoughts. He uh, <laughs> she like she was like, oh my god, did you just say that to me? And then he just panned the camera. That just happened to be just like some random, <laughs> random white dude. And uh, and Frederick asked me, he was like, didn't she just say for us to go back to her hood? And I'm like, I was just like, she did. <laughs> and then he, and then he panned he, away. He's an ally. And then he panned away. Oh, and he's then the, an ally. and then the video cut. So what's what's interesting is um. <laughs> it was, it's why I'll show it because I guess you haven't seen it. I have not, but Brad I'll show was it. not there. I'll show it. It was just, it was just that, like his only purpose, <laughs> like in the last two weeks, was for him to be there at that precise moment in time, Come so through. that he could say those two words. Come through. She did. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> this, this this leads into a more serious conversation, and I don't want your opinion on this because, um, <laughs> but it's just it's just funny. So. Uh, Frederick posts the, the video online mm -hmm. And so you know Twitter There's like FBI caliber People Look. who are on Twitter Who have not realized their full potential They need to be working for the government the go Yeah the government like, they, has they missed out on some great people So they, they, they find the young lady um, Her Somebody sends her sends him her Instagram oh, no. uh, I'm not going to say her name 
Uh, so he he shares it, of course. Um, and then they, they keep digging, right? So then her LinkedIn and then her Facebook. Um, and then he finds, because her LinkedIn, they find her employer. Uh-oh. So I guess you're wondering, like, where my tweet comes in and all this. So what I said um, is on the, at the bottom of her bio, it says, um, oh, what, is it, what did it say? It's something, uh, something leader or whatever, like uh, a high level leader or something like that. So I was just like, I was like high level leader in, in her about profiles. I was just, it's just peak irony. <laughs> like, it's just, you're a leader, but you're out like drunk out on the street like fl- people flipping people off food. smacking people's uh phones out of their hand um so i just thought it was i just thought that, that was a funny comment I, I don't know that i necessarily agreed with what was what would eventually happen to her but i was just kind of putting a comment out there so i got a bunch of likes likes and likes and responses and retweets i was like okay feeling myself right like i'm a little tweet going viral off somebody else's post like that's the best kind of vi- mm-hmm. you know going viral when you ain't, have to, viral. you ain't gotta do any work you just put your little tweet out there and then it's just it's like investing and it just yeah, it grows on its own. That's exactly, that's exactly what it is. So, um, eventually, this all makes its way to the CEO of the company. He, um, I guess, realizes it, contacts the guy. I don't know why I'm saying Frederick's name, but no one else's. But I guess because he's he's already out there. And I um, know who he is. Uh, shortly after, I think either a day later or later on that she got fired. the next day, they announced that um they that she was go. that she was terminated and. Uh, She's no longer a leader. <laughs> no, she's not. I mean, she might be. Um, not not where she was, but um. So this is. So it was interesting, and I always say I always say that when I'm transitioning. It's interesting. But what's funny, what you notice is when a lot of the stuff happens because uh, Fred Frederick did use the word race racist, right? Like, mm-hmm. oh, she was racist. She said a racist thing. Go back to your hood. Obviously, there's there's either under or or over uh tones when you say that to to black people go back to your hood go back to where you came from um after the post went viral the uh the non uh person uh avatar profile showed up so the people with like two followers um with the picture of the cat for their profile picture or um like a fire hydrant or whatever um also known as MAGA, MAGA country. Mm-hmm. They came in and they were oh, like, no. yeah, yeah. So because my tweet was under one of the more popular no, posts, people were, re- people were replying to me. Now, some of them were just replying, right? And to, it just happened to be you. And it just happened, I would happen to be in there. And then some people were replying to somebody who replied to me. And then there's somebody who, there's some who actually replied to me. So they were like, I hope you never do anything out in public. <laughs> I was like, shit, me too. <laughs> 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 it's like you and me both man you and me both bill i hope i don't do anything out in public and get caught on camera and somebody sends it to my boss and they terminate me you're oh absolutely gosh. right i appreciate you bill even if you were being sarcastic i still appreciate you so playing, um playing miscellaneous advocate and uh, no wait, wait, wait. Oh, and, then, and then somebody else is like yeah you're a much better leader <laughs> it's like thank you, <laughs> you <did not> say <laughs> i appreciate that we don't even know each other. And you're giving me compliments? Man. That's, you're much better. Like, yeah, you're a much better leader. I'm like, Thanks. I am. Appreciate that. Put that on. I'm, I'm going to put that on my LinkedIn. So that real, I have even yet to update after I got my, my new job. The real but MVP is Chad, who <laughs> the guy in the video had one assignment. And you know, they did and um, fulfilled that assignment. I was uh, I was following up on it and they did uh, the local news station in New York. <laughs> they they actually recorded uh, Fred and they actually recorded the the dude, um, and this is funny. Uh, his name is not Brad. I'm no, I can't remember what his name is. I, I wouldn't say it, but um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I was you know they, and then you know the, the mega fuck they they kept coming. Um, they were like, "You all wait until it happens to you." <laughs> it was what like you your turn. You all? your turn is coming. Um, so I had a lot of fun with it, right? Because this is like two days later, so I've moved on with my life. I mean, I've you know, moved on and thought about, you know, our, our, our child that's coming and my beautiful Not wife. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't, I was still on Twitter, but I, I just, I just moved on. Cause it was like, Oh, you know, somebody lost a job. Unfortunate cancer culture, whatever America. So, um, people come back in replying and they're like, Oh, you know, this is what happens. Cancel culture. And eventually, you know, it's going to, it's going to happen to you. Libs. <laughs> my brother. I'm one. I'm not really liberal, but um, 
you know, I don't really care. <laughs> I was just like, yo, why are you in my mentions about something that happened two days ago? Like, I have moved on. Like, I really don't care. Like, I have, I have no, no dog in the fight, no pun intended. Like, I, I legitimately, like, don't care. Why are you, like, why are you trying to engage me on this? Like, I don't care. For all you know, she's liberal. I don't. And they're just coming to her defense. So, now that aside, this does, this is a very uh, interesting uh, topic of conversation. Mm-hmm. So, did the punishment fit the crime? Can you actually say that someone's saying, go back to your hood, even though that's not recorded on camera, so you have to mm-hmm. take his word for it. And, well, you, got, and, you got Chad. And, and, Chad, and Chad, who was just like, she did. Um, <laughs> and, and Chad's word. Uh, someone who was obviously drunk uh-huh. um, and, and slurring their words and whatever. Uh, did, did, is that wor- is did does that equal you should be terminated? So I'm probably going to get come for, but I say I have the strong inkling to say no. Um, just say it. No, I did. Oh, you said strong inkling. Like too easy to well, well, because I'm torn. I'm torn because, you know, you said this happened in New York. So Yuck. maybe it probably happened in Manhattan or one of those fancy places. I think they're in Brooklyn. It's in Dark oh, Park. Brooklyn. Dark oh, Park so was. it was gentrified. Gentrified New York. Because I was going to say maybe she's saying like, go back to Harlem. Like, that's your hood. This is our area. But white people have taken over Harlem as well. So, you know, part of me is just like, I don't feel like she did enough to warrant being terminated from her job but i recognize the backlash that the ceo and hr probably foresaw would come if they didn't make any actions um she's at the end of the day she's she's a white woman in america she's gonna get it she's fine she's gonna get a job Mm, um she will they Mm. every like there's there are certain demographics of people like they're they're always there you guys are gonna be fine what Um, you need to do is go ahead and get that get that fox news correspondent gig for (laughs) saying she literally you know who needs the correspondent gig chad (laughs) he needs to be on msnbc or cnn or something they don't want him at fox Cause he sold uh, out one of his own. Yo, that's but, my man. Y'all have seen the video. I mean, for for nothing else, I understand somebody lost their job, and then you know, it's all this racism thing. Um, that that never the conversation that never goes away. But just just the the just watch it. It is hilarious. The timing is just hilarious. He's like, yeah, she did. <laughs> she said yeah, I don't know that I I don't know that I feel like she needed to be fired. Um, it wasn't like the lady who was strangling her dog while attacking the bird watcher who has like a degree from Harvard. She's actually um, suing. She's suing him? No, she's suing uh she's suing her employer. Okay. Wrongful termination. Oh. Yeah. So go I'm sorry, go ahead, finish. Uh but yeah, I, I think on this one, yes, there's an element of racism, but I don't this sounds this is so weird to say. I don't know that there is enough racism in her statement. To, <laughs> this is a dash of racism. Yeah, it was like it was a, a, it was it a dash was a of racism. Like if we're if we're gonna it, terminate yeah. people for racism, like we you need, need at least three fourths of a cup of racism. I know. Not I just need, not just one I need fourth. Some expletives. <laughs> I need I need an N word dropped. Like go back to your hood. I don't know wow. if that falls in the parameter of racist enough. To be terminated from her job. So, uh, what's interesting? There we go again. It's interesting. I don't know that it's, not everything is interesting, David. No. Stop saying that. So, what's interesting? My thoughts. What I find my, fascinating. What I find fascinating here is in in these videos that that end up going viral. There almost seems to be like everyone has lost the ability to have any sort of conflict resolution. <laughs> like non mm-hmm. non uh violent or or you know non elevated um like remember when people just used to be like whatever and they're just going going their own way mm-hmm. or say whatever and then just keep going their way like there seems to be none of that anymore especially at least in these these types of videos that go viral right like somebody says something like oh you know take your dog and leave and it's like well okay whatever i'm i'm leaving. like no it wasn't my dog or whatever and then and I'm, I'm going on my way like i observed that this person is probably drunk 
I should go on my way. Um, not everything. Like I think uh, was it Stephen A. Smith. He said uh, every battle ain't a war. Like sometimes, it's just like a you're gonna get into things, and you know it's not worth your time. It's not worth your energy. But at the same time, I'm someone who who says you know everybody's feelings are valid. You know, like so if they felt like what she said was foul and whatever enough, um, and they felt like it was it, it had a uh, had notes of racism they had a right to you know confront her about it you know i'm it's whatever i i just feel like for me um would i have videotaped it no uh would i have considered it trauma no um i would have just said you know i I probably would have been like you know whatever like i i don't have to go back to my hood I, i live right here right here my 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 L A, Southern L A accent right here. Like I said, whatever, man. Like, I, whatever. She's drunk. I don't care about her. Um. But in terms of of the employer uh, letting her go, like, maybe you just maybe you do the old. Who does she maybe, work for? Because maybe she works for like say, neighborhood maybe, initiatives. Maybe and then that's, maybe you do the old trope where you bring in. <laughs> so uh, uh, you a contract mediator. out somebody to come in and uh, do the diversity and inclusion training, right? You, you, Are you, you do sure a couple, that wasn't her job? You do a, no, it wasn't. It wasn't her okay. job. You do a couple couple sessions. You know, get the sensitivity right, understand the sensitivity. You know, and and let her know that if this goes against the company's uh, code of conduct, you know, whether you're, you know, at work or outside of work, and the company has the right to fire, maybe you give her a warning. Give her put on a pip. Put on a pip. <sighs> How is this affecting her performance? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just, you know, give her a written warning. Like, I don't want to say, I want But what's a written warning? Don't tell someone in your free time when you're not on the clock to go back to the Don't hood. go out in public drunk, number one. Uh, but that's what public don't, is for. Don't smack uh, the phone out of someone's hand. Okay. That, that, that could be assault. Simple that's assault. True. Um, and... I don't know. I like. I, I don't know. I, I don't know that it, it had to end in the firing, but that's ultimately their decision. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that they. I think there was something about the company where they were really they're highlighting the fact that they had um, a certain number of uh, min- uh, black or underrepresented investors. So I do know that some people who got a little bit of clout, uh, both in uh, in Silicon Valley and um, in um, venture capitalist world and just Twitter, uh, look who, at who black are, money who, controlling who, things. Who are, who are, who are black? Uh, reached out to um, the company. So, you know, money talk and everything else walk. So maybe that, that kind of got the ball rolling a little bit. I don't know. Okay, I stand corrected. Ultimately, like I said to the people who got in my mentions two days after the event happened, I don't really care. People lose their jobs every day, B. Like, <laughs> it's unfortunate. I'm sorry. But choices, actions have consequences. Mm-hmm. And whether she's, they're whether they're leader anymore. whether they're fair or unfair or somewhere in the middle, either or, you know, it is what it is. So you take that risk when you engage in these types of behaviors with strangers. You never know. Everybody's got a phone. You have to just be cognizant of the fact that there's a good chance if you're in a public place and you have a public altercation with somebody. Six times out of ten, reported. somebody's somebody's got a camera out, so you never know where your face might end up. So, and like, like the person when... said, I hope it doesn't happen to me. But I generally, one, I don't go out. I go up and down these stairs. I go out to work. I go to my cousins. I go to my brothers. He's I go to my in these streets. I go to my mother's. I'm not in these streets. Uh, I, but on in, the other hand, and am in avenues. Yeah. So, you know, it's interesting. But the whole cancel culture uh, thing is, you know. It's 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 just becoming too much. I'm tired. It's of it's, it's interesting whether or not. Well, first you have to dissect whether or not it, you have to agree or disagree on whether or not it exists, um, and then uh, just the the viciousness of it. Right? Like we don't do conflict resolution anymore. We just make people go away. Mm-hmm. For some people, that's that's troublesome. Like we could somebody could say that we said something really insensitive, and you know. My boss or your boss, they see it and they're like, hey, we got to let you go. And then I, and then it would have happened to me. I have to go find that person on Twitter. Be like, damn, man, you know what? It finally happened to me. You were right. They got me. They got me. But. But that ain't happened yet. So. 
Yeah, I have a great editor who makes sure that all of my controversial I'm statements. I'm, I'm sorry, letting it roll. All my controversial statements are removed. But yeah, that's that, that's all I had. It's uh, it's interesting. So we'd love to know anyone who's watching this cousin cousin think- cousin Chen. Because I know you're always watching. Yes. I would love to know what you think, although I kind of already know. I, st- I, I, think, I still oh, no, 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 think I, it I, wasn't I, racist I, enough. I think, I think I know. I won't say I, I already know. I think I know. Um, Jess, Jessica's opinion is that it wasn't racist enough. It was just a dash of racism. Yeah. It wasn't like a... It wasn't like hot. Like, you know when yeah. you order Thai food, they're like, how no, hot? No, I don't, I don't eat One food. to ten? I feel like this was like a three. I don't eat Thai food. Yes, you do. You just don't know you're eating Thai food. No. This was like a three. I, I feel I'm like do my, you, I'm going to do my berry bonds. I, I don't knowingly eat. Thai food. <laughs> I feel like you shouldn't get fired until you reach a, a racist level of at least six. Okay, so we're done because she's really about to. She's it's, really about to get rush the, vibes it's canceled. It's the sleep deprivation. I'm she's tired. Really about to get rush or vibes the canceled. But you know what's funny? Uh, one one other thing on racism. Not funny, but it, it is funny because Larry Wilmore said it. Um, he said uh, he was on. I can't remember what podcast it was. I think it was Higher Learning, and he said, "What's in, what's funny is that most people think that." Races are just like these, and it's just mean and nasty, and people mm-hmm. just saying, and this, and this, this. He said there were people like, he said, I think it was uh, his dad's friend, or I can't remember the story, but someone who was older than him when it was younger was telling him a story about how there was this white family who uh, was really cool to his relative, older relative, um, and he would go over and eat with them, and like they would drink lemonade or whatever. Uh, but said, I think it was his dad was telling him the story. He said he realized that they would bring the black man different glasses or like a, a jar the same jar every time it would like he would bring him a jar but they would drink out of glasses like <laughs> they like they were cool but you're still a <laughs> you're still a, you know what so i can't drink out of the same uh types of uh at a cup as you so it's just it's stuff like that he's like right, like like the little subtle things um where you could like oh yeah we're cool like you come over to the house you know we'll, we'll cook um, so you gotta eat off of this plate. You gotta this eat off the, you gotta this plate, this, and you gotta drink out of this mason jar. This ball, you know, mason I'm gonna jar. drink out of this glass. So it's just, it's like the opening scene. What's that movie with? Um, it was directed by Regina, and um, I can't remember. It's a famous football player, but he goes back home, and there's this white guy who is just like, "Oh, you've been amazing. You've made this town so proud." Blah blah blah, and. He was moving furniture. and He said he had to move furniture in the house. Mind you, like, this guy has visited him. They sat on the porch. They, the, maid, the housekeeper brought out lemonade, and he volunteered. He was like, do you want me to come in and help you move this furniture? And dude was like, nah, bro. he was like, you know we don't let, like, in the house. And he said it so matter-of-factly, like, yeah. come on. Like, I don't care if you're winning football games for us. We don't let birds girt, whatever into the house and yeah. he was so taken aback like wow you sat that you let me sit on your porch you let me drink outside. your lemonade outside outside the house you yeah. can't come in, and can't he come was in offering to work like i'm gonna help you move this armoire or whatever can't, it was can't cross over so can't cross I mean, over that threshold yeah but then i was that, like well who's keeping your house i'm just saying like because I know the question always comes up, like, oh, you know, they've always been nice to me. They can't, couldn't mm-hmm. possibly be racist. It's like mm-hmm. selective racism is. I think thing. I think racism exists on a spectrum. It does, and some 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 elements of it are stronger than than others. But neither here nor there. It's the um, of the purse. It's the elevator. We uh, we I, I know we had kind of alluded to the fact that we're kind of toward the end of our first season here, which we are, and you know we had kind of given may may have given you the impression that we weren't going to do one of these in between any of our guests uh, scheduling. But just the fact that we kind of wanted to get in front of you guys one last time, or one last time before our last time. Um, so here we are. So this may we be a, you this, missed us. this may be a nice surprise. Maybe it wasn't, but uh, it was fun. It feels weird after three back to back guests, three or four weeks, I think, um, sitting down. So it's uh, it's good. Feels like home, even though it is. So uh, like, subscribe, share, share. And uh, I know I haven't said this in a while, but go ahead. If you haven't already and you listen to the audio version, because I know the world's opening back up. We're kind of back to commuting and, and running and jogging and things like that. Go ahead and leave a review on Apple or, uh, or Spotify. Let us know what you think. You know, five, five stars would be appreciated. Four stars, whatever the most is. Uh, but if you got some feedback, leave that too and give us what you feel is appropriate. As long as it's not a one, because I come find you. Mm-hmm. Don't sprinkle um, any racism on there either. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, subscribe to YouTube. Be sure to share it out. Uh, if you like the video, that'll help it show up when other people are searching for topics like spending money on weddings, um, dog parks in Brooklyn, <laughs> or whatever else, whatever else we talked about. So um, connect with us on, on social media as well. We're on Facebook and Instagram. We will have a new guest next week. One after that, and then I believe maybe one more yes but at some point we're gonna i we, promise we don't know at some point we're gonna end because this baby is coming so uh we don't know when but hopefully we'll get all our guest episodes recorded and then that way we can just run them so uh stay tuned for that uh but we appreciate you guys uh, i'm gonna head and bring my man jay belkin you know what i'm about to say i should take you out take us out jess be good don't be racist and if you are going to be racist, be on the low end of the spectrum. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your vibe. Bye.